All right. Uh, in one of the comment sections of uh, fixing latency issues, um, one of uh, the users asked a question, um, and it was about saving and sending Audacity files to other people. Um, so here I have an Audacity file that, that I've opened up and saved to my desktop. In fact, I've already saved it. If I close it, you'll see that there is actually uh, two parts to an Audacity file, and that's what makes sending Audacity fi files really weird. Um, when you save it, there's this thing that's, you know, the name of the file, and then .aup, which is an Audacity file, but then there's this secondary folder that comes with it that's a data folder. So it never just saves as one file. You have one file, and then you always have a uh, folder that comes with it. Now, if I wanted to actually send that to somebody, I would recommend doing the following. You just put new, and you create a folder, and um, I'll name it the title of the file. And I would put the two parts of it into that folder. Because as long as those two, uh, these two things are in the same directory, um, the Audacity file and that, it, it, you're going to be able to open the file. If one of these is separated from the other, you won't be able to open it. If you want to actually then send it to somebody, you uh, most computers nowadays have either WinZip or WinRare or some other sort of uh, program that zips it into a folder. But if you right-click over the folder where you put the things in, you can click click Add to Archive, or you can um, like I also I have WinRare, I have WinZip, I've that got a lot of stuff there. Um, but you can basically then just uh, compress or add to or send to, and notice like send to is one of the universal ones that you should be able to see, compressed zipped folder, and if you click that, it'll take a second, and it's doing it, it's compressing everything, and then you can actually then, um, this file folder right here, this zip file, you can then either attach to an email depending on its size, or you can... Um, upload it to some uploading site like RapidShare or whatever um, and share it with somebody or post it to the internet. Now the trick is is like this is 14.1 megabytes so that's a really big file. You might be able to send that in, in uh, like G Google Mail, Gmail but the odds are you won't. You'll have to upload it to some sort of remote website like RapidShare or something. Um, but those are basically like how you would you know first put the the two uh, data folders or Audacity file and then the data folder into one thing and then actually send it to somebody else. You'll have to do it this way.